Hello, Internet. This is the root. A little bit of an odd angle. I have to set on my new cooling fan. But that's not the point of this video. And yes, it may seem a little bit distracting while it's moving until it stops. Yeah. I pulled out a hand. Yes, a fucking handful packed of hair out of four bearings out of my mom's walker just like I did last year and the year before actually I did it for somebody else and uh, I gotta say that's a shit ton of hair another gunk that got stuck in the bearings that makes it impossible for the wheels to move no I mean really the wheels weren't moving at all well they were but as soon as you push them, right? You rotate them, they stopped. Push, stop. Push, stop. Hair, of all things, can cause damage to bearings. Especially if it gets inside. It doesn't matter if it's sealed or non-sealed bearing, it will still find a way of getting inside and wrecking havoc. That's why you need to maintain those bearings, or maintain the wheels. Oh, generosity. Check to make sure there's no cracks in the wheels. Check to make sure the bearings don't have any cracks in them. Sorry, hair or gunk in them. That means taking the wheels off the walker, taking the gunk out of the wheels. You can use tweezers or you can use your bare hands to pull the hair out or whatever it is. There was a shit ton of hair. I couldn't believe it. Very frankly, I didn't maintain it for two years. Normally, I'm on top of it, but I didn't. Plus, I got two scooters. Yeah, not electric. Did I still have to check the uh, bearings to see what gunk may have made their way inside? But I doubt it, because I don't really use them too often. And they're mostly inside or hanging on the wall. So, and they're mostly used outside, not indoors. But, yeah. Overall, you have to check the bearings. You have to clean them, because if you don't clean them, you are going to run into problems. That being stiffer wheels, it may lurch to the right or to the left, depending on how many, how much gunk or hair is in the bearings. Me, I gotta take these fucking things off. I don't need to actually be able to look at the. Uh... I gotta clean them off. That's why uh, I have an issue seeing. The lights are refracting off them. The light is to the left of the camera. In your view, or actually to the right. The light is on this side. You're seeing the left side. Or me, I'm seeing the left side, but it's actually the right side. Anyways. Yeah. Maintain your walker. You got parents. You got grandparents. Or you have utterly or physically impaired or disabled individuals. You need to maintain their walkers, especially if they have wheels. Take the wheels off. If they use Allen keys, it's even better. If they use a nut locking nut on the other side. If they don't, they use two Allen keys. You need two Allen keys to insert them in the tournament. You can just hold one of them and turn the other to get it off. Pull it out. Drop the wheel out. Check the bearings. Pull any gunk out there is. You may have to blow through it to get the gunk out of it, to push it through the other side if you cannot reach it. Otherwise, use tweezers or whatever you have. Don't burn it, because you can't get it out if you do. The purpose, the whole purpose, is to get the hair completely out of it without letting it sit inside, because then you're going to have a lot more trouble, especially if you got to get the bearings out of the wheel, which are not easy to get out, depending on the type. I haven't had much luck trying to get them out. So, rather than having to buy new wheels, I have to be careful to not, you know, fuck them over. And the other thing is, especially if that walker is used in all weather conditions, you know, snow, especially rock salt, you need to oil or repaint the nuts and screws, oil the threads before you put it back on, which I still have to do, to make sure, well, I'm going to do it before the winter, to make sure that it does not seize. Because if it seizes, good luck getting them off. Good luck unscrewing it. And good luck trying to maintain it. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Maintenance is crucial. 
especially if they're very active and not the type that sit on the couch day and night and not doing shit. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Maintain your mobility devices. It's a good thing. It allows you to keep using it for decades, not years, decades to come. That also applies to other equipment you have, even rollerblades. You don't know what kind of shit may get caught in the wheels. You gotta be able to take them off, clean them out. Anything of bearings, clean them out. Just decided to make this video. I know it's a bit long, but you must clean your shit out. Otherwise, it ain't gonna last long. Anyways, just wanna make this video. Just wanted to let you know what you got to do every so often. If you got old folks or impaired folks, disabled folks that use a walker or a mobility device, make sure you check the bearings at least once every year. Clean them out. If they need oiling, even after cleaning they're a bit stiff, oil them. You can use a hair dryer to loosen whatever is in there, especially if it's old lubricant if it hardens up. You can lose a hair dryer to actually loosen it up. Spray a bit of WD in there. If they're shielded bearings, I don't think you can actually open them up, but you can try. But good luck getting that shit back on. At least you can clean them out. If they're non-sealed, it's, it's not difficult to clean them out. Just saying, use and care is key to keeping them good. And if anything, always have a second spare set of bearings in case they're fucked. Because it may happen. And if you got a stiff wheel, that's no good. Alright, thank you for watching. Peace out. Have a great day.